Welcome to a review of the Citizen Mens AT 4010-50E. This is a Mens watch. There's also uh, a Citizen Mens AT 4008-51E. Um, it's basically the same watch except this one right here is made out of titanium, whereas the other one is made out of stainless steel. Titanium, if you're not familiar with the metal, it's lighter, it's a little bit stronger, and I think it looks better overall. The uh, the glass right here, this is actually a crystal sapphire uh, glass and so it, it's actually really strong, it's the second hardest right next to diamond so even though your watch may get scratched up it's actually pretty difficult to get this crystal sapphire to get scratched so let's get into some of the features for this watch um, you know first off we have the tachymeter this allows you to kind of measure uh, distance for example if you want to figure out um, you know how fast how fast the car is going miles per hour um, you know you can measure the speed this way right using the built-in chronograph um, next we have the, the clock itself it's a perpetual clock I'm sure you've heard about it it's an atomic clock so it synchronizes with the uh, US time and there's there's an antenna somewhere in the, in the Midwest or whatnot, it's Utah or Arizona, somewhere around there, um, that actually broadcast a signal. All right, so these watches can can pick up that signal and you know and synchronize with it to to get the official U.S. time. So here I have my my phone. If I just refresh through this real quickly, we could see that you know 14 or 2 o'clock, 39 seconds. The seconds is really what matters here. Um, I'm gonna do it once it hits 210. All right, there may be one second lag just because the phone is also receiving this information and it has to refresh. So if it's off by a second, there we go. As you can see, that was actually pretty close. All right. So the perpetual clock uh, at 2 a.m. every morning, it it uh, it goes into uh, a synchronizing mode where it allows the the watch itself, which is going to um, to synchronize with that um, with that antenna, right? You can check how strong the the signal is, right? Or you can synchronize the watch manually if you want to, right? So you know, if I press this dial down here, you'll see that you know the second hand moves into this section which says no, right? And the no basically means that it currently does not have a signal, right? If we wanted to manually synchronize it, we can actually hold this down, and it's gonna go into this RX mode. All right, this is going to manually try to synchronize, but you know we know we don't really have a signal right now, so there's really no point. All right? How do you know if you have a good signal? Well, you know we have a few more dials right over here. It says HML, high, medium, low. All right? If you're actually in an area where you can grab a pretty good signal. All right, you'll be the the second hand will actually move here instead of this no. All right. and so you could do it manually. You could do it, you know, just set it and leave it be. I I haven't really done this manually. I just kind of let the watch do its own thing, and it's it seems to stay pretty accurate. Um, the reason why it says no right now is because there's a lot of gadgets around this watch, and the manual does state that if you have a lot of electronics around this watch while trying to synchronize. Uh, that's going to interfere with uh, with the radio signal, so you have a problem with that. Right. Now let's take a look at some of these smaller dials. We'll start with the uh, with the top left right over here. This is uh, the 24-hour dial. Right, so right now it's pointing to the 14 because it's two o'clock. This is going to come in really handy, especially when you're setting up your alarm and you want to know whether you set up 2 a.m. or or 2 p.m. All right, that's going to allow you to do that. On the top right. This is actually a multi-purpose dial. Uh, if we look at the inner dial right over here, it's you're using the um, all the all the numbers right over here for the chronograph and that counts the minutes. Moving out, we have the uh, day of the week. All right, so right now it's pointing to Monday. And the second or uh, the third dial, which is uh, this bar right over here, that's actually measuring the battery gauge. So if I push this once again, then as you can see here, we have this going over to full. All right, and in just a moment, it's going to go away. The bottom right over here, this is going to be the um, the mode. All right, so 
Um, here's where you can go from, you know, from regular time, change your time zones, uh, or to some of the other functionality like your chronograph or your alarm, right? Maybe a little hard to see, but there's LAX, so that's West Coast, Denver, Chicago, New York, London, and there's an option for your manual clock. So, you've, you know, if you're traveling somewhere outside of this, you know, let's say you went to China, um, you would have to set it to manual clock and adjust the time yourself. Right. Now, it's, you know, because it synchronizes with the, uh, with the atomic clock here in the U.S., it, it will be very accurate, right, down to the second. But once you go over to the manual clock, keep in mind that Citizen on the manual it says that on a given month, uh, the second hand could be plus or minus 15 seconds, which it's not exactly the most accurate uh, watch if it's plus or minus 15 seconds every month um, or up to plus or minus 15 seconds every month. Um, but, you know, if you're mainly in the U.S., it's, that's going to be perfect for you. Right. So let's go over to some of the dials. Um, Let's let's hop over to another dial right over here, or another feature, and let, let's go over the chronograph. So in order to do that, we grab the the crown and we push it out to the first position. All right, so position one, and we just move this up. All right, and then the dials will adjust accordingly. Now, if we wanted to change the dial, let's say you know I traveled and I went, you know, over to Denver or Arizona, then I just have to switch it to Denver, and the clock will adjust by itself which is pretty cool and I can go back and it'll just keep moving by itself All right, so you don't really have to worry about changing the time All right, does everything for you alright so let's go over to the chronograph the chronograph you've got the seconds and the minutes started off using the top button and off it goes the smallest unit of measure is the seconds. You're not going to get milliseconds out of this. I know some reviewers said they didn't like that, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. I hardly use the chronograph anyway. Let's go over to another mode. And here's the alarm. Now the alarm, it's actually pretty cool. I had no idea this had a built-in alarm when I, when I got it. Um, you could turn it on or off and it may be a little hard to see but if you look down here at this dial that says on and then that says off All right. and um, basically just turn on your alarm turn it on or turn it off all right. if you want to change the time then you bring this all the way back Oop. you bring this all the way back and you can actually just spin it once forward and it's going to start rotating and change the time for you. All right, you can spin it backwards. If you want to fine tune, you can just do a minute at a time. How does the alarm sound? Well, let's test it out. Here's your alarm. It's actually pretty loud. I've been able to wake up at night just by using the alarm. It's, it's actually not bad. Overall, it's a beautiful watch. Um, I love it. My wife got it for me for Christmas. I actually got to pick it, but she paid the bills. Um, and, you know, it's. I had a hard time picking a watch, but once I picked this one, I was incredibly happy with it. Um, I can highly recommend it. It's a very light watch. It's, it's, it's quite beautiful. Everything is titanium. It's, it's really light. It's very sturdy. Um, every now and then, I mean, the, the watch is so nice that every now and then I'll. I'll just keep staring at it and my my wife will look over to me like in the middle of a sermon or you know while we're in a presentation or whatnot and um, she'll just kind of nudge me to start paying attention because you know sometimes I just can't stop looking at this watch it's you know it's really that nice uh, if you're debating whether you should get this watch or not you know just stop debating I say go buy it you're really going to be happy with it I would highly recommend it right so by all means make the purchase you won't regret it and it's definitely one of those watches that you can pass down to your children and they'll pass it down to their children so it's it's really an heirloom all right thanks for watching